Question number three says, list only the first and last names of each student. Okay, so once again, it's very clear we are talking about the students table. So we need to get information from the students table. Unlike the prior two questions where we wanted all the attributes and we could simply say star. This time we want only specific attributes. Okay, and the way to achieve that in SQL is to simply list the attributes we want. So we say select and then we say first name comma last name. Okay, so we need to list all the attributes or column names. Attributes and column names are synonymous. Separated uh, attributes and column names separated by a comma. Okay, now it's very very important that you spell the names exactly as they are in your table. Okay, so in the students table this column is called first name, this column is called last name, spelt like that. So you have to write it exactly like that. Okay, if you deviate from that, then uh, SQL processor will come back and say, I don't know which column you're talking about because uh, let's say we wrote first uh, names by mistake. Okay, so it goes into the table, looks for a column called first names, says I don't find any. Okay, so that's very important. You need to pay attention to that. But SQL is not case sensitive okay so even though the column name might be in lower case in your database you could use upper or lower or mixed case in your SQL query it's completely case insensitive so that's a good thing okay so this time we say select first name comma last name and then we say from as usual and this time the table is student that's all there is to it